Hello everyone, Justin here, and today we are going to draw the simplest and easiest chest piece, which is the pawn. So let's just go ahead and start by drawing a circle, as round as you can do it. And you can use a circle template, or a coin, or any round object and just trace around it. So once we have a circle, let's go ahead and draw the mid midline for this spawn, just a vertical line, just so we can make it symmetric around this line. Okay, I'm gonna make that a little bit darker. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is draw a horizontal line that's just a little bit wider than the circle, just a little bit below. So let's go ahead and do that keeping it perpendicular to our center line. All right, so of course we're gonna try to keep it symmetric about this mid midline. So make sure that this line is as wide here as it is here. So now let's get a, let's find a point that's a little bit higher than the bottom of the circle right here and draw a line from this end of the line to that point. And then from that point to this end of the line Okay, so now what we'll do is draw a slightly angled line out and then draw another horizontal line to connect those two. Okay, so now what we'll do is draw a point down here that's about almost two circles down from this circle. So one here's a circle height here's a second circle height and then another one down here about so right here we're going to go ahead and draw another horizontal line okay and mark a point that's just a little bit wider than this part of the pond so here's that part so let's go this wide and here right there so we just make this line as wide this way up from the center line as this one. Okay, so we can make that a little bit darker. So now what we'll do is step in from this corner a little bit, and then we're gonna draw a curve to meet this point. So just go straight down. Actually, let's go in just a little bit and then go out okay so let's have a reference for this next line so from here to here let's just mark a point right there just so we know where to go okay again from here let's go to, to this point curve out to meet this so go down and then out Okay, now that we've done that, let's extend this line slightly. Let's go down just a bit here and draw another horizontal line. And what we're gonna do is we're going to go out from here continue this line more or less to go out but basically parallel so here's the curve and we're gonna continue this this way and then in okay so go out following this curve out and then in and we'll do the same on the other side so we're gonna follow this curve except it's gonna be out a bit go out and then in. So now we, that we've done that, I'll go ahead and darken this line. Of course you can use a ruler to make your line, straight line straighter. Okay, so at this point we're gonna go draw another horizontal line, slightly wider than the widest part here. So right about here. Parallel to the bottom and slightly wider than that okay 
and finally one last line at the bottom okay and we're gonna make the bottom part curved a little bit okay so let's just draw a slight curve and slight curve out here okay so now we'll connect this corner here with this with just a straight line and that's basically your pond so what we'll do is let's just go ahead and do uh, some quick shading and I'll erase this mid line first we're just gonna do some uh, easy shading here so uh, let's say the lights coming from the upper left and so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and draw another circle just inside a smaller circle that'll be our shadow line so go ahead and start shading in the shadow and then just inside of that just another circle and make this one just a little bit lighter okay and finally let's make the furthest area to the right even darker and you can blend this in later if you'd like so this part is actually going to be a straight line so we're going to get rid of that curve there from the circle and draw a shadow line here so let's just make this part pretty dark and make this area darker as well and I'm going to start blending this in a bit okay so this part right here is going to catch a lot of light so I'm just going to put a little bit of shading right here just so it's not so flat but this is going to, this part right here will catch will be more in shadow so I'm going to start shading this in like this and here's our shadow line and make it darker on the far right side far right edge okay again we're going to have a shadow line under this lip this feature so let's just draw a line here and make this part really dark and then make the shadow start curving in a little bit as the light as the shadow kind of fades out this way okay. so now let's draw a shadow line here so let's say let's just go down here and then curve out a little bit and then here curve out so basically I'm just drawing progressively darker areas here so I'll just start Shading this very lightly for this area. And then this part a little bit darker. And then this one darker still. So of course what you can also do is just shade this whole thing first. Like this. and then go over it again and by going over it again you will make it darker without changing the pressure and then finally this part here I'm gonna change the direction just so I can follow the outline a little bit easier and actually it'll be easier to get a smoother gradient by using the pencil in this direction so now I'm, as I go towards the left side I'm lightening up on the pressure and smoothing out the, the different tones and I go out here a little bit further 
and lightening up the tone even more and the pressure okay and while I'm at it I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of smooth the shading up here as well so it's not so distinct the areas the different shades and of course you can use a your finger or a blending stump as well so next we'll go ahead and uh, shade this area so as this part curves down this will be again in shadow so I'm just gonna go ahead and kinda put in a shadow line here and I'll go ahead and shade that and then again just like here I'm gonna draw a slight I'm gonna draw some shadow lines there so to kind of separate this area which is further in than this I'm gonna leave a, a white area which is catching the light up here so I'll just go ahead and draw a light line here to guide me and start shading below that line so I'm keeping a light a thin reflective line right there and start shading all the way to the side here and again I'm gonna go back here make this part darker I'm staying away from this white light line just so I can be a little bit more careful and then just start lightening up on the pressure so I'll get a gradient and as I go here I'll increase my pencil pressure and try to blend this part with this bottom part so I'm gonna make this part a little bit darker still okay and using a, some cross hatch here just to even it out a little bit and then here again I'm gonna just very lightly add a little bit more just so it's not so sharp because this is a smooth surface there won't really be a sharp line and here a little bit darker okay almost done so just like up here this section here is gonna catch a lot of light so I'm just gonna add a little bit of shadow here from this overhanging this part so I'll just go ahead and draw a line there and then make this area sort of darker okay and I'll just leave this white maybe just a little bit of sh shading here and then I'll go ahead and make this a little bit darker okay and just like here where we left the reflective light we can do the same here and I'll show you a different way of doing that so I'll make this dark here and make it lighter as we go to the left just like up just like up here uh, make this part a little bit darker still because there will be a little there's there'll be some cast shadow from this section okay so as far as this reflective light here we can use a eraser pencil and just kind of erase some of this right here and we'll get that reflection right there okay so what we can do is smooth things out a bit with my with your finger I'll go ahead and do it here and 
just blend things a little bit. So finally, let's just erase some of our previous marks here. And we're pretty much done. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to make the darkest areas even darker using this pencil which has a softer lead so I can really make it dark and get better contrast from the lightest light which is the white of the paper to the darkest shadows here on the lower right okay especially right here all right so this is the the pond and we'll go ahead and draw the other chess pieces that become a little bit more difficult and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, got a little something out of it if so please like share subscribe and ring that notification bell so you'll know when I've uh, updated other videos Thanks for watching and have a great day.